Hi there and welcome back to another YouTube video. This one today is a discussion stroke critique uh, look at um, the selection of images that came in through for the ICM challenge um, titled In The House. Um, I set this one deliberately because during COVID um, a lot of people on my courses weren't able to actually go out and photograph um, outside or get out and about in the woodlands and fields and things as we normally do. And so I thought it would be really fun for my group here to see what they could actually find in their own homes. And you can see here there's a lovely collection of colour and movement and energy and this was a really fun one to uh, look at and I think the judge had quite a challenge because um, they had a lot of selection as you can see there's a lot of different things basically as long as um, the image had ICM as its main element they could interpret in the house in absolutely any way possible and you'll see there's an awful lot of abstract in here um, but there are also a couple of images that have been created very specifically for this um, uh, competition and they are, definitely have been made in the house, but maybe not been made with household objects, whereas the majority of them have. So that's just something worth taking into account. Um, my competitions are very relaxed, um, as long as ICM plays a main part in the final image and you use the topic uh, words that have been given to you. Um, and I'm quite happy with whatever produces. It's a bit of fun, it's not too serious. So without further ado, we're gonna go and have a look at these images one by one. And what I just want to say is that uh, if you haven't seen um, me do this, or if you haven't heard the last couple of YouTube videos, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go through each image very briefly and just explain um, positives, negatives, um, possible any improvements that could be made and um, what I thought of it. So we're gonna start with this one, a lovely light uh, blue, very calming image. I really like the lines on this one um, and the shadows and the light that falls on it. It fills up the whole image, which is really lovely. Um, and I think it's just, uh, it's got some really nice lines that you can follow with your eyes here. Um, and it takes you down to these beautiful shadowed areas. I love these sort of triangle points here within the image and then the corners are nicely darkened up here again it brings your eye from the top of the image down to the bottom and I think it's a really lovely calm full image and a really nice use of ICM I have no idea what this is <laughs> and I don't mind that I don't have any idea what it is um, but I think it's lovely okay a really vibrant color one here um, and to me it looks possibly like a bookcase or maybe a cd case something like that within the home who knows but anyway it's almost like a colorful barcode isn't it um lovely i really like how um all the um lines are um vertical um you know where the verticals are meant to be vertical they're vertical i like the fact that there's a repetition of the same color this this yellow red white this this white red yellow and it keeps appearing throughout the whole image i also like that you get extra pops of different color like this um vibrant green here and then this really bright blue um would say maybe possibly this bright blue over here is actually dragging my eye a little bit over to here because it's such a strong color compared to the rest of them and also just on the edge here this lighter area um whenever you find lighter areas or areas of contrast on the edge of images they do draw your eye a little bit so i may have been tempted to crop this image on the other side of the blue to uh, reduce this light and the same here i might have been tempted to crop this little bit of blue that's sitting on the edge of the image out there as well um, but otherwise i really like the balance i really love the fact that it's it's quite playful and a good use of icm a really interesting use of icm in the home Okay, so another bluey image, and this is another one I have absolutely no idea what it is. <laughs> it could have been a picture out of a window, possibly. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, again, a lovely full image. I love it when these images, these sort of abstract images, really fill, image, uh, fill the whole, um, you know, all four corners. This one's got some lovely tones. It's got these lovely blues and greys and silvers, and then you have these slight browns, fawn colours, and then you've got this little pop of green, which kind of just it leads it down through this lighter... Uh, green to this sort of darker green <clears throat> I think that's really lovely the ICM textures and movement is super I love it it's almost like um, uh, a, a sketch with a pencil on top of a colorful background um, again I love how the whole image is full possibly I might have just cropped off at this point because I find again the dark edges here this these 
these are possibly a little bit distracting because they're so strong compared to the rest of the image. Um, but other than that, I think it's really nice. The the photographer could just try pushing the whites a little bit and possibly the backs. So you might get a little bit more contrast. Um, it might be fun. I quite like it as it is, but it might be fun to have a look and see what happens if you try that. OK, this one next. <clears throat> now, this one's a multiple exposure and um, it's uh, it, the judge really liked this one. And it's it's a lovely sort of traditional feel to this image um it's it's got a really lovely sort of old timey feel to it um it's a full image again and it's it's really interesting how this multiple exposures work so you have a icm which is very clear throughout the image and then you just have these pops of sharp um detail throughout um it's a very full image and it's uh it's it's kind of used the imagination of finding something in your home and bringing something extra to it. Um, I quite like all the lines and the structure and the lines. And I quite like this sort of idea of this bottle in the background. Um, and then the repeating elements. You've got some repeating elements that keep popping up throughout the image again, which are really nice. The colours are really lovely. Um, I can't quite make up my mind whether I like this red lump in the corner or whether it's distracting. It kind of takes you up through here, so it's not massive distraction, um, but it is something I might have a play with and see whether it was better with it or with it out. Uh, the next one, the photographer put this in and said he was aiming for the cute factor, which definitely worked. Um, our pets in our homes, definitely in our homes. Um, and animals are one of the most difficult ICM uh, subjects to photograph, as you will see when I uh, discuss uh, the animals section that I judged for this challenge. <clears throat> and these are lovely. I like the symmetry between these two. Yeah, it's not absolute perfect symmetry, but I love the fact that uh, he's caught this sort of element of these two animals doing something and then brought some ICM to it to just really soften it. And it almost creates a sort of um, a, a, not a graphic drawing, but it, it kind of it gives a hint of what it is uh, without being too sharp an image. I like the black and white treatment because it could quite well have been overpowered by the colour. Um, the texture that you've got in the fur is lovely and I love the whiskers that are still just being held detail. And then the same with the ears. You can just still see the ears and the tops of the, the fur, which I really like. Um, <clears throat> I would say possibly this edge of the tray is just a little bit light. Um, had you darkened it down, it might not have been so obvious and possibly here, this area here, um, which are just quite areas of quite high contrast. But other than that, it's a nice image. Uh, excuse me. Um, this is another barcode image. <laughs> and this one's a little bit more um, ordered than the, the one we saw before. And I quite like uh, this because of all the colours. I mean, my goodness me, every single colour you could imagine in there under the sun. Um, really, really lovely. Love the ICM movement. It's obviously been a lot smoother ICM movement on this one to really create these straight, smooth lines. Um, I would say on this one, again, this one could just, you could just try pushing the whites a little bit to add a little bit more uh, energy especially on this side here this is obviously the light is coming from this side here it's dropped off a little bit um, and I feel this area could just do with a little bit of white also I might just play with the verticals here I don't feel that there's anything that's absolutely vertical within this image and as a result it kind of especially on this area just here it really shows that there's uh, the, ver the, the vertical lines are not completely vertical I'm not sure whether you could get them all vertical but I might choose one and see if I could play with it um, it would mean possibly losing a colour off the edge. Um, I don't think it would be too much of a problem with this because this is yellow on the side and it's quite bright. So it's actually taking my eye to the left. It might have been better to crop it out. Um, that would be my recommendation to straighten this one and have a little play with the whites. Um, this next one, if I remember correctly, it was um, spoons or forks within a, uh, a tray in the kitchen, which I think is just inspired to have thought that. I really love the tones in this image. Um, I love the creams, the browns, the greys, and just the fun of uh, the fun ICM movement that's obviously been used. You know, it's not your average left, right, up, down image. I think it's someone having a lot of fun with the image. Again, an image that's really full. It's full of energy, full of movement. Um, I think it's it's a really clever image um, and 
yeah, it was one of my favourites of the lot. Not a lot to add regards details or anything to improve. If you really want to be picky, possibly this little line may be take out, but otherwise I think it's a really nice image. Um, lots of discussion in the Facebook group on this one. It's a it's a Percy Pig bouquet. <laughs> Those of you in the UK will know uh, what Percy Pig is. If you're not from the UK, um, I'll probably just look it up. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I think it's quite a fun thing to have uh, taken a photo of. The vibrance, the energy matches what the product is. Um, it, it's a sweet, basically. It's a candy. And I really love how these lines radiate out from the middle of this bouquet. Um, I think it's really fun. I love the colours. I love the lighting. I love the crop. It's a really super choice on crop. Um, yeah, I think it's I, I think it's been well seen, well imagined and a very, very unique image. And I, I just, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun and I really like this one. This is one that's uh, slightly less abstract than a lot of the others. Um, absolutely still an ICM image and it's just a really soft still life. And I really love the thought that's been given to this one um, as an image and an ICM image for this competition because somebody's decided to create this still life setup and then use ICM on it, which is not the easiest thing to do. Um, the black and white treatment is super. It gives it a really kind of old bygone days. And I love the fact that it really accentuates the lights, the darks, the shadows, the blacks, the whites, the greys. Um, I think it's really super. And the, the, just the very, very subtle ICM movement that you've got going on in here. Um, it's, it's just really lovely. And the lines, it kind of this lovely line that goes up through the image and it follows uh, here. It follows the line of the vase. Um, and the ICM image is just very, very slightly, um, I think slightly to the right and upwards that's just moved some of the elements within this. Um, again, really, really nice image. Not really anything else I would suggest to change it. Um, this one reminds me of stained glass window. Maybe somebody's luckily and lucky enough to have a stained glass window in their house. Um, I don't know. Or it could be a... Uh, a rug or something I don't know but the light is really lovely on this and the colors are really beautiful um, the pattern's super again it's one of those images that just really fills up the whole frame um, and I really liked the, the the idea behind it and the colors and the pattern and the textures what I would just say I'm seeing a line just down the here on the left hand side I'm not sure whether it's something that's happened in post-processing or whether it happened while the image was being taken but if I was to be judging this anywhere other than in here um, this would be an issue so just be careful of something like this that sits down the side of the image um, but otherwise I have no you could try playing with the the whites just to lift it up a little bit but I quite like uh, the slightly muted feel of it I love these images that you see when people make them in their homes and they look like landscapes. Um, this this one looks like a sand dunes or sort of out in the desert. And if it was made in the home, it certainly was not made in the desert. I don't think I've ever got anybody that joins me from the desert. <laughs> so um, I think it's it's a lovely image. I think it's really suitable, uh, sort of really kind of it's really suitable for this theme um, to have kind of thought really outside of the box on this one and created a landscape within the house. The colours are lovely. The tones are lovely. Um, you know, sometimes it's really nice to break out of the box and go uh, with a, um, a central horizon, which I have no problem with here at all. What I would note, though, however, I would question, I don't mind the central horizon, but I do wonder what this area at the top is bringing to the image and especially this sort of light blob just here it's just distracting a little bit this could have possibly been cropped to a 16 by 9 or possibly darkened down the top so the eye stays absolutely on this beautiful rich color and movements Moving on to another very vibrant image. Again, I have no idea what this is. Possibly books, because I can see some writing here. Um, this one, I think, is a multiple exposure, although I might be wrong, but because I'm thinking that I can see the blend mode having an effect on this one. Um, again, very fun, very full. The image is full up with colour, with energy, with movement. Um, I love all the little triangles that I see. It kind of reminds me of the prisms that you get with the way that the light shines out of them and shines rainbows. So I really like that. Again, just watch the edges, just like this really dark little point on the edge. It's just a tiny distraction from the rest because it is the darkest point within the image. 
um, and then possibly I might have just cropped this area out just because it has a lot less going on than the rest of the image and so it just looks a little bit of a contrast as in a little bit less in, uh, interesting um, than the rest but if you had then cropped that out then you would have lose the point so it's kind of like yeah it's a balance of what to, to do but I, I really like that one and it's very colorful and very energetic um, now, I will say this one was put in to this competition and then this one was removed from the competition. I was really disappointed when that happened because I love it. Um, I absolutely love the colours in here. I love the textures. I love the fact that it is so abstract. It is just about colour and power and feeling. And I think the colours are absolutely beautiful. These blues, turquoises, you've even got hints of purple coming down here with the brown. And they're all kind of into their own little thirds areas. And I think it's a very, very soft, very gentle, very clever, very abstract um, ICM taken in the home. And I really, really like this one. As I said, I was really disappointed when it disappeared out of the uh, selection in place of another one. Um, the person who did that knows who they are. <laughs> um, and... Uh, probably won't do it again hopefully <laughs> um, believe in yourself I have to tell some of these guys to believe in themselves when they put an image forward um, they quite often then see other images put into the challenge and change their minds on the basis of what everybody else has done and this challenge is really to encourage people to be themselves and share what they are happy with and what they've loved making rather than worrying about the end result um, but sometimes the element of competition can get in the way and the element of the need to fit in or, you know, not seem too different um, throws a, a bit of a spanner in the works. So anyway, I think this one is a lovely image. Now, this one was the winner of this challenge. I think some other people have commented on previous videos that they wish they'd known who the winners were. Uh, I'm also going to show you where you can go and find all the winners and the, uh, the images as well after this little slideshow here. Um, this one was um, taken using um, not natural things that you would find in the house, but this is one of those images that somebody actually put together and did deliberately in the house um, to create this lovely, lovely ICM image result. And it is stunning. I mean, the colour, the movement, the energy. Um, I really like the composition. I would have possibly liked to have seen the bottom of this element here. Um, if you manage to crop it off during the actual making of it, then possibly it might have been prudent to try and put it back in in Photoshop later. Um, it's just missing the, the bottom. It's not the end of the world. It still made my number one. It still made the judges number one. I think the longer you look at it, the more things you see. The longer I look at it, I see, I see almost a smiling giraffe with its two eyes here and its nose and its mouth down here. And I think anybody looking at this will see different things. What it actually is, is some wires with light in a black box um, so the photographers actually had fun in the home making this and I think it's a really super innovation apart from that little missing off the bottom here there's nothing at all that I would have made to change it this reminds me of a flame flickering or a candle burning in the home which is lovely again really like the square crop I think it's super I think it's a very abstract image and abstract images really lend themselves to the square crop um, the colours are super. I love how it runs through the oranges, the reds, the yellows, and then through to the whites. Um, I, I like the fact that there's a bit of light on one side and the slightly darker shade on the other side. The lines coming in to bring you into this area. And like I say, it looks like a little bit of a flame. The ICM movement is really fun. It's not just a straight one. Um, and I think it's very abstract. I have no idea what it is, but I really, really like the colour and the energy and the ICM that's been done. Now, when I saw this one, the first thing I thought was Turner. Um, I think this is a beautiful image and um, the colours are just stunning. I absolutely love this. It's it's like someone's put a kind of kaleidoscope in front of me and twisted it and all the colours have moved in, a, in an energy. It's almost like a, watching the Aurora Borealis in the sky. Um, and I think because of that, it's it's absolutely beautiful. There's absolutely nothing I would change about it at all. I love the square crop love the colours, love the energy, and the photographer who made this should be very proud of themselves. This one's very different to the last one, very graphic, very abstract. Again, I have no idea what this is, but um, I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's got a lot of energy. Um, I like the, the light and the dark on here. And I like the, the shapes as well. Possibly um, the 
it could have been cropped possibly to make it more um uh, not reflective um yeah so it's it's the same on both sides i would have also just straightened it very slightly because i get the feeling that it's just going slightly uphill on the left hand side here um it might be an optical illusion also um what i would have quite like when i say cropping possibly where this comes down i would have also liked to have seen that stop there maybe so we had the same amount probably i would have lost this little edge off here um and where i say straighten you can see there's a bigger gap here between than the bigger gap here so i think you probably just need to drop it down to the left here very slightly um, and then possibly just um, pull a gradient filter so this side isn't quite so light um, and then you could bring back some of the detail and the shadows in there but otherwise a really really lovely image and you could play around with crops you know there might be a really cool square crop somewhere in here that's a really abstract image as well again something really fun something quite unusual so it was nice to see um, this, I think, is light, and I might be wrong, but lights are notoriously difficult with ICM because what happens is that the contrast difference between the light and the dark makes it very difficult to hold details throughout. And I love the shapes and I love the energy and the movement. Um, I really love the ICM and I love the fact that you've got these kind of shapes rather than objects. But the thing that brings this one down for me is the fact that it actually has got some really big blocks of area that do not have any detail in at all because the light has been completely blown out. It, um, I think the person who's done this has tried to sort of rescue it and not make sure it's completely blown highlights. But as a result, if you print that, there would just be nothing in there at all for the printer to pick up on. Um, which is a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, you could possibly try cloning, um, but again, just be aware that if you're going to shoot things that are very contrasty, light and dark, make sure that you don't lose so much detail in the highlights that you can't bring it back again. This one, it possibly, it might have been quite a fun thing to try cropping it maybe just in the middle here to lose this element and to lose this element out and then possibly work on this one. Um, but again, I, I do like the composition and I like the sort of the movement and the shapes. Um, it's just those those elements of the highlights which are bringing that down. This one's a very gentle one and I can't remember. This reminds me of the wash pods that you have uh, to put in your washing machine and I'm not quite sure whether that was what this was or not. I'm trying to rack my brain and I can't remember but it's a very beautiful image. It looks like a butterfly or a beautiful watercolour with sort of that's just had swirls of colour mixed into some water um, or you've just dropped some ink into water and it's kind of spread out. Love the colour. I love the movement. Um, I love these reoccurring shapes in different colours. So you have this lovely drop of purple and then you have this lovely drop of white that echoes. It's almost like yin yang going on here with these two here. It's almost like a little um, Casper the ghost coming up through here. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, the, and the repeating colours is a lovely tonal colour palette. Um, possibly, yeah, it's, it, it, I don't know, possibly might have taken the white down but equally adds a point of focus to take your eye to because your eye does sit there because the point of contrast is so great that your eye very gently rests here and then just sort of wanders off and comes back again um, I quite like the space this um, negative space on the left hand side because I feel it gives it space to sort of spread into um, which is really lovely um, another one, I have no idea what this is. Um, I think it possibly could be a multiple exposure, but I might be wrong. Um, and I only say this because of um, the blues that I'm seeing on the edge of this, um, which sometimes you can pick these kind of things up if you do two images on top of each other. Otherwise, it might have just been the way that the light was catching whatever object here has been photographed. And I have no idea what it is. But I really like the tones in this one. It's kind of chocolate browns with light blues and then with these vibrant blues, a bit of silver, a bit of grey, a bit of white. Um, the ICM movement's really nice. I think probably what this one is lacking is that it's kind of got objects, but they're not clear what they are. So um, whilst it's abstract, it's it's asking me to try and figure out what it is. And I'm struggling with that. 
Um, so I think that probably might be a slight negative on this one, but I do like it. I'm the dark. I really like the dark elements here at the back here. And I like how the, the light is at the bottom. It could almost be underneath the sea and sort of some jellyfish or something like that. And that's the beauty of abstract images. You can interpret them in any way you like. Nothing I would have suggested for them to do any differently to this. Um, but I think it, yeah, it's, it's a fun image. It's a fun image. Uh, I think this one probably was titled While My Guitar Quietly Weeps, is it? I'm, I'm no guitar player, something like that. Um, obviously, this one's uh, kind of abstract, but you can see exactly what this one is at this time. And, and it's, um, had, you know, it's been fun. It's, it's finding something, it's an object in your home, and you can make use of it. I really love the black and white treatment. I really like the square crop on this. Um, I love what, what we've got going on here with the bottom, which is slightly um, like a reflection going on in the bottom here. And then the top's just got enough movement uh, to make it interesting, but the detail's been held. And I love how it's kind of scratched the lines here and scratched the wires almost. Um, and all these kind of lights and darks. The more you look at it, the more shadows and lights you see in it. I think it's a really lovely image. And I love the black and white treatment. I think it's really made it stronger. Um, not really a lot to add on this one. I think, you know, I could question whether you need these elements, but actually if you take them out, then there's a big lump here of black, whereas it kind of gives you something to look at. So nothing really to add on that one. I really like it as well. Um, this is another one of the landscapes that's been made in the home. Again, it looks like we're in the Sahara Desert here. Um, I like the crop here. It really accentuates the wide open landscape that's been created the tones the colors um the balance and the icm movement are all super um it's yeah it's a very calm image i think it's really nice uh possibly you could play with the whites um a little bit just to bring a little bit of what light into this image because i think it would really accentuate then the difference between the lights and the darks and the lines in here um, this kind of takes me back to being a kid with lemon, uh, lemonade and sort of, um, I don't know, is it lemonade or is it Alka-Seltzer? Who knows? Um, <laughs> anyway, I think, oh, it's, no, this was a gin and tonic. This is a fever tree bottle. I remember that now. Um, and um, I think, yeah, it's lovely. I really like the colours and the energy that's going into this one. Um, I like the fact that it's, somebody's had a bit of fun with this and put something together. I think it's a, probably a multiple exposure as well. Um, but the lines and the the fact that you can just see little hints of things in here, but the colours are super, these like muted cherry colours and then uh, creams, oranges, peaches, greens, limes, right up to these bright yellows. You've even got some, some sort of purples somewhere in here. Again, the lines are lovely and all the different textures are really nice possibly yeah no I don't think there's too much I would do to this one at all possibly just darken this area just very slightly or just raise the light up over the whole thing because I think I find the whole thing a little bit flat likewise um, and I think if you just push the whites a little bit or the exposure very slightly it would just lift it and maybe give it a little bit more depth Last but not least, we have another barcode, and this looks more like a window blind or something. Um, lovely straight lines. These ones are absolutely vertical. Um, I think that's absolutely super. I love the repeating colours that you've got here. These are really, it's kind of intriguing that we go from these blues, blues. So you have these two that look almost the same. And then there's this one that's sort of merging from there to there, and then it starts changing through. I think it's really, really lovely. Um, I think probably my issue... I, yeah, it's, it's one of those ones. Do I like it? Do I, do I find it a distraction or does it add to the picture? And I quite like the fact that it goes from dark right through to the light. Um, but because of the light, my eye is sitting over here a little bit longer than I'd like it to. So probably what I would do is just darken this little area off here because then your image doesn't go off into the lightest point. So just to make the, the same grey of the edge here, like this grey here, just to hold it in. Um, and then it might uh, hold it, hold your eye back onto this area here a little longer. Again, this is one where I think the colours could sing even more. I quite like these colours, um, but I think the colours could sing even more than they do. So I hope you enjoyed that little um, whiz through all of those images there. Um, if you are interested to go and have a look at um, the results and who the images were by and such like, you can go into um, Issue 
dot com and if you put in Charlotte Bellamy photography you will find all of my publications this one here if you want to copy it down now Charlotte Bellamy slash docs in the house ICM challenge dot doc I will put that in the link below in the YouTube video so you can go and click on that but what it will allow you to do is you can go and have a look at all the images and the feedback that was given by the judge and you can see who won so um, you can see the images in order and as you saw me start at the beginning I spoke about a couple of these um, what's lovely I put this together after each challenge and you have the top 10 places but everybody that submits an image also gets their image into the publication and then I also do a little chop top five of which images I really like as well um, uh, which is like a little bonus because we have uh, I have another judge who judges for me and it just means that I get to put my little opinion in as well, but it's separate to the official judge. And there's a few extra points up for grabs. And it's always interesting to see how my comments uh, or how my opinion differs from the judge because they, we all see art in different ways. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm hoping that one's not too long. Do let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more, there will be a total of 10. I think this is number three. So they will come through very slowly. It takes a little while to put one of these together. But hopefully if you enjoy them, I will keep doing them. Um, do drop me a message if you have any questions about anything I mentioned. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, give me a like. Make sure you follow me and uh, we will see you again soon.